Hello, thank you for watching another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are listening to Yes Roundabout Studio Version since everybody requested the studio version and we did the live version. So here we are, we listened and yeah. Here we so, go. <laughs> here we go. So this is a shout out to Jeff and Dennis who both originally requested the, this song on our Patreon and even Jeff said, Hey, thanks you guys, but please do the studio version. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> so here we are, and we already really loved the song. It was the first time I had ever heard it. And um, I had mentioned in the previous video that I really liked the, the bass of the song. And then I got a lot of good tips that if you listen to this version, the bass comes out even more. So I'm excited. And are you ready? To get started. Yes, I'm ready. Definitely All right. ready. All right, let's go. I don't think I picked up on in the live version. I know that the live version that we did too, as we were listening to it, I was a little sad because the audio was very muffled. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the greatest audio. Loved watching their live performance. I love seeing rock bands perform live because that's when you can really see them rock out and their talent. But yeah, I do agree that that one video, the, the audio just wasn't the best. It was hard to understand. And I'm understanding his lyrics now, and I am picking up on a lot of things in the song. The bass is amazing. I mean, the bass is almost played as like a normal, it's like a normal guitar of this song because that bass line is just so pronounced and so incredible that you know how like guitar solos are typically, you know, the electric guitar and they're going crazy. I don't know, the bass guitar in this song, 
I think it's incredible. And then I think I picked up on some acoustic guitar as well as the electric guitar, which I didn't notice in the live version. So I picked that up. And then also I'm like really digging the keyboards in this version. It's, I mean, obviously when the keyboardist was playing in the live version, you can't help but to notice him because he was wearing that like cape. sequined cape and he's got his roundabout of keys everywhere and he's like rocking those keys. But um, obviously, yes, this is a lot more crisp. I'm definitely picking up on all the different things going on. I, I understand completely. Yeah. I would say that I like both of them. For different, for different reasons. reasons. Yeah. No, I'm definitely picking up on all these little things that I just mentioned in this version. And then, you know, we do like to watch live versions of rock bands because it's fun visually too. It's a lot of fun to see them rock out and um, you can kind of see their personalities on stage. And like I said, the keyboardist, when he was just like, with his long blonde hair, just like both sides with those keys. I mean, that was a lot of fun to watch. Yes, it was. <laughs> amazing it was whoa and then what are what was all that kind of that drumming sound like they were like knocking on a i don't want to say a cowbell i, I was thinking of a but cow something bell. metal kind of sounding right like, but it not it wasn't like super just a, a tap yeah tapping i liked that and then oh my gosh all the instruments were coming together in that part Woo! that was so cool Ooh, okay
Wow, that was amazing. amazing. That was amazing. There were so many different parts of this song. Yeah. It starts off kind of dreamy and magical and soft. And then all of a sudden, it turns into this rock song. And then even with that, and then it gets mellow and kind of dreamy. And then towards the end, there was that chorus. La -da -da. Oh, I can't do it, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a fun song. And we said in the last video, this song has just so many different personalities to it. And it's a hard song to kind of start bopping your head to because then it just changes and then you have to re-bop your head to kind of a, <laughs> a new beat. And it's so much fun. I definitely, that bass stood out so much more in in this version. And it makes me want to learn how to play guitar. Because there's so many different <laughs> Do you guitar really? sounds in this song that were all so amazing. Am I going to have to get you a guitar for your birthday? <laughs> I guess we'll see. I mean, I don't know. With this song, it's, you know, I feel like a lot of people think, oh, I want to play guitar. But then this song makes you really want to play the bass. Slap it the bass. Slap it the bass. <laughs> it all seems Slap so the bass. hard to me. <laughs> because the bass in this is, it goes so hard. It's amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. And I don't know, I don't know if I was hearing an acoustic guitar or just, he was just playing his electric guitar differently but it just had that sound you know sometimes with an acoustic guitar it has that sound at the end of a of a note that gives it that kind of acoustic sound to it so if it wasn't I feel dumb but um it sounded it like that to me so uh but wow I, incredible I think you're better at recognizing musical instruments maybe because you took piano lessons so maybe you're more in tune to the music. I, I still don't know every single instrument more, and what it's than, called. More than me. More, definitely more than me. Well, I know very little, so you must know very, very little. <laughs> Baby close to zero. <laughs> <laughs> but we appreciate a good song. I mean, this song definitely makes me feel like rocking out and getting a guitar. It's a fun, kind of happy song. Yeah. Yeah, and I loved um, people um explaining the lyrics of the comments because i mentioned that we couldn't really understand the lyrics right. in the live version and people were like it's okay <laughs> the song lyrically doesn't mean much except it's just kind of uh kind of just poetry with his words that really doesn't have any distinct meaning one way or another so i'm glad i didn't have to try to overanalyze the lyrics in this song and i could just Enjoy, enjoy it, it for what it was. Yeah, you like to do that. Yeah, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I overanalyze and I miss a lot of things because I'm trying to study the lyrics. Like as the singer is, you know, singing, I'm trying to pick up on lyrics because sometimes lyrics can be really deep, you know? They have a powerful message and then sometimes I miss other things. So I'm glad that with this one I can just kind of enjoy it for what it is, which it's a was good a trip, song. So. Really good song. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> so thank you again for watching our second reaction to this song, the studio version. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.